Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to uh, Welch's math class. Today we're going to talk about measurements a little bit and conversions within the American measurement system. The American measurement system, like any other measurement system, can be used to measure several different, uh, several different things. We, 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 we can measure, for example, how long something is using units of length. We can measure how much something weighs uh, using units of weight. Uh, we can also measure volume or capacity. Uh, that is how much something holds. We can measure time. And, and so there's many different things we can measure. And so what we want to start out with is taking a look at uh, some of the, some of the uh, conversion charts within the American system. So for example, in, in American measurements, if we're talking about length, talking about length, the conversions that we, that we work on in length, the, actually the smallest unit that we deal with are inches, and so what we can say very easily is 12 inches equals, equals 1 foot. 12 inches equals 1 foot. So there's, there's our first uh, conversion factor within the American measurement of length. Um, a second one that we that we go to quite often is to is to say three feet equals one yard. We use the abbreviation YD for yard. Um, and then finally, in length, when we're measuring how long something is, and we get into a, a large scale kind of a kind of a thing, measuring a, a very long length, uh, we we would come up and say something like five thousand two hundred eighty feet equals one mile. 5,280 feet equals a mile. Love for you to capture that in your notes. These are the units of length that you really either need to have um, in your notes and be able to use in, in the problems that you'll work or you need to have these committed to memory. Uh, but these are the, the units of length measurement that we're going to use to work our problems. Okay, so beyond, uh, beyond length, another thing we, we measure, another thing we measure uh, uh, beyond length is we will measure weight. We mentioned that before, we'll measure how much something weighs and the uh, basic units of measurement that we go with here are um, ounces. So for example, we have uh, 16 ounces will equal one pound. 16 ounces equals a pound. Um, and then from there we, we jump right up and say then as a very large measure of, of weight, um, 2,000 pounds equals one ton. Okay, so please capture those in your notes if you need to pause the video here or in the previous segment uh, to, to get this down in your notes. This is something that you'll need to be able to work the problems that we're going to spend some time on. So the conversion factors that we use in weight. 16 ounces is a pound, 2,000 pounds is a ton. Okay, moving on, we mentioned volume also a minute ago. Volume, how much something holds. Um, another word for that is capacity. All right, so the, the units of volume are capacity. We'll start out here with something called fluid ounces. And, and so, um, what, what we'll say is 8 fluid ounces equals 1 cup. 8 fluid ounces equals 1 cup. Alright, and then from there we can go on and say 2 cups equal 1 pint. And of course from there we can say 2 pints equal one quart, Q-U-A-R-T, and then we know four quarts equal one gallon. This is the one that gives people the most trouble, uh, so you, you particularly might want to have this in your notes uh, to use uh, when you're working problems. Uh, an easy way to remember it that I like to, to do 
is just remember the numbers A, 2, 2, 4. So when I'm doing this chart many times, I'll write down A, 2, 2, 4, and then I'll know we're talking about fluid ounces to cups, cups to pints, pints to quarts, and so on. Notice that on the left side of the chart, we, we have um, some higher numbers. On the right side, these are all single units, and that's true on every one of the charts that we've done. Also, I want you to notice that um, on all of the charts that we've done, we put the smaller unit on the left side and the larger unit on the right. Uh, uh, fluid ounces are smaller than cups, cups are smaller than pints, pints are smaller than quarts, um, and so the smaller units are on the left, the larger units are on the right, and also as we go down the chart, the units move from smaller to larger, so the fluid ounces uh, up to cups which are bigger, and pints are bigger than cups, and quarts are bigger than pints. So notice that about the chart, um, that, that essentially we are moving uh, from the left side being the smaller unit, the right side being the larger unit, and then as we go down the units get larger as well. That will be an important point that we'll want to make sure that we make as we um, get into the conversion factor itself. Alright, uh, the last one that I want to take a look at very quickly is time. The conversion chart for, uh, for time essentially is pretty straightforward. You probably um, know these just out of your own life experiences. Uh, 60 seconds equal one minute. Notice again on the chart, we're moving from 60 seconds to one minute. All right, and then we can say 60 minutes. equal one hour. Okay. Notice that we move from, a, from a, a smaller segment of time, seconds, to a larger unit, minutes, and then minutes to hours. Minutes are smaller in terms of the length of time than, uh, than hours. Uh, then we can go and say 24 hours equal one day. And um, from that point, the last one we'll put up here is seven days equal one week. Seven days equal a week. Uh, notice as we go down the chart, the units get larger, seconds to minutes to hours to days. Days are certainly larger units of time than minutes or hours and, and so on. Again, that will be important as we go. Uh, so hopefully you got those three charts. If you need to rewind or pause the video, then go ahead and do that and, and capture those. Okay. So now from there, what we want to do is take a minute and talk to you about conversions. We've got these conversion charts. Now we want to, we want to talk for a second about conversion principles. Okay. So I want to give you two conversion principles. Uh, let's get rid of this too. And so now we're talking about conversion principles. Conversion principles. Okay, so in these units, so no matter what kind of uh, conversion we're doing, what kind of unit we've got, um, in these conversions, when converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide by the conversion factor. Now remember we said that uh, when we're moving on the chart, you remember, we're moving from the right side of the chart over to the uh, excuse me, from the left side of the chart over to the right side of the chart, we're going from smaller to larger. Or if we're going from high on the chart to lower on the chart, we're going from smaller to larger. So it's important that you know the difference between the smaller units and larger units to know what you're supposed to do. Now there's other ways to do this besides the simple principle, but I think this is the simplest way to approach this. So this is, this is what I like to show. Let me show you an example and, and we'll go from there. Let's, uh, let's take for example um, 150 minutes 
okay, small unit, um, and say that equals how many hours? So minutes certainly are smaller than hours, so uh, what we want to do is, uh, is, is take the 150 and divide by the conversion factor of minutes to hours, and we know there's 60 minutes in an hour from what we said before, so divide that by 60. Now when we divide that by 60, you can use your calculator if you'd like, you can do it longhand if you'd like, but what you'll see is we end up with 2.5 or 2.5 hours. So 150 minutes ends up being 2.5 hours. 2.5 hours. So there's an example of a smaller unit going to a larger unit where we divide it. I'll give you another quick example of that. Again, if I'm going too fast, you need to pause, pause your video quickly and, and, uh, and capture the example from the board. So this time, let's, uh, let's go to a volume unit. Let, let's go and talk about, uh, I don't know, let, let's talk about 40 fluid ounces. And let's convert that up to pints. Now, we don't have a direct conversion between fluid ounces and pints, so what we're going to have to do is change the fluid ounces first to cups and then the cups to pints. Alright, so the conversion factor, now again we're from a smaller to a larger, so we're dividing. The conversion factor from fluid ounces, fluid ounces up to cups, remember there's eight fluid ounces in a cup. So if we divide this by eight, because eight fluid ounces in a cup, we'll end up with five cups five cups. Okay, my, my next conversion factor, uh, because I want to take cups and ultimately get it to pints, is to take that five and remembering that there's two cups and a pint, so what I want to do is do that five divided by two and I'll get 2.5. Two and a half, five divided by two. Calculator, longhand, however you need to do that. 2.5 pints. So after we go through those conversions, moving from, from fluid ounces to cups, and then cups to pints, remember, smaller unit, fluid ounces up to a larger unit, we're dividing, and so we end up with 2.5 pints, 2.5 pints. So, so this type of conversion, converting from a smaller to a larger, always works by division by the conversion factor. All right. Now, from here... Let's take you to the second principle, okay, so this was our, our first principle, conversion principle, so that was our first principle, I'll label that one number one, and go into our second principle, alright, so our second principle, when converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply by the conversion So it's really just the opposite of what we talked about before. So now we're converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, so we're going to multiply by the conversion factor. Quick example, so if we're talking about um, converting, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, let's, let's convert um, three quarts equals how many pints? How many pints? Well, remember the conversion factor between quarts and pints is there's two pints in a quart. So let's take our three quarts, multiply that by two, and we'll end up with six pints. So you can see we use multiplication there. So in quick review then, converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply. Converting from a smaller unit to a, uh, a larger unit, we would divide. And uh, hopefully that will help you very quickly be able to make the conversions within the American system. Look forward to seeing you next time where we'll talk about the metric system.